I have some exciting news to share with you today about Starlink. That it submitted an FCC request to begin installing and operating terminals on moving vehicles. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. It's an answer or almost an answer to a question many of you have asked me in some of my videos. When will Starlink be portable? And actually last Friday, SpaceX filed a request with the FCC to make Starlink broadband for trucks, ships, and planes. So super exciting stuff. These dishes will be modified for vessels and vehicles and aircraft, according to SpaceX. Now, although in the filing, SpaceX indicated that these terminals could be deployed on passenger cars, Elon Musk tweeted saying that not connecting Tesla cars to Starlink as our terminal is much too big. So this is for aircraft, ships, large trucks, and RVs. The application describes SpaceX's plans for Earth stations in motion, or ESIMs. In its request, SpaceX says that it's seeking authority to deploy and operate these Earth stations throughout the United States and its territories in the territorial waters of the United States and throughout international waters worldwide and on U.S. registered aircraft operating worldwide and non-U.S. registered aircraft operating in U.S. airspace. Now these ESIMs will be electrically identical to Starlink's home terminals, but they will have mountings that allow them to be installed on vehicles, vessels, and aircraft, which are suitable for those environments. Also important to note, SpaceX services ESIMs will communicate only with those SpaceX satellites that are visible on the horizon above a minimum elevation angle of 25 degrees. The proposed phased array user terminal will track SpaceX non-geostationary orbit satellites passing within its field of view. And as the terminal steers the transmitting beam, it automatically will change the power to maintain a constant level at the receiving antenna of its target satellite, compensating for variations in antenna gain and path loss associated with the steering angle. Now, SpaceX's application noted it already has FCC permission to deploy up to 1 million user terminals here in the U.S. The requested license allowing terminals on moving vehicles would not increase the total number of terminals, which is interesting, but SpaceX has separately asked the FCC for permission to increase its allowed number of terminals from 1 million to 5 million. And if you have a Dishy McFlat face at home, you know it's relatively easy to set up and these would be a little bit different. SpaceX says that it will ensure installation of ESIM terminals on vehicles and vessels by qualified installers who have an understanding of the antenna's radiation environment and the measures best suited to maximize protection of the general public and people operating the vehicle and the equipment. So. Definitely not a do-it-yourself type of situation that they're looking for. So again, I want to reiterate that this would not be connecting Tesla cars to Starlink as the terminals are much too big, but this is really exciting news and definitely progress for those who would like to see Starlink used for aircraft, ships, large trucks, and of course, RVs. Again, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you like getting videos about Starlink, hit that like button. Please hit subscribe and I have more content for you coming soon.